Hey, -o, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Touch portal, Leon and Bud, step aside, sunshines. Something's coming your way. Let's get into it. Right, so I don't normally do videos like this. They're, they're more, more tutorial based, so it's interesting doing something like this. But today I'm showing you Biku Bot. It is a piece of software that is similar to your, your Nightbot, your Streamlabs, your, your also your Leon board, your Touch Portal. It's kind of everything mashed into one. It's a Twitch chatbot, it's a soundboard, it's a timer. It'll tell you when dinner's done. Uh, <laughs> OVS controller and an interactive chat tool. But you're, you're probably saying, oh, Andy, what, what does any of that mean? What, do, what does it mean? What, what does it do? This means that you can create your own chatbot to start with. And by that, I mean you can give your own chatbot a name. For instance, here's a bot that I created. This is Andy Botty, just going absolutely wild right now. And all that is is a unique Twitch account that I created. And I've called that my moderator. And because this bot has access to that account, it can write uh, chat commands and things like that from this program which is it makes your stream look a little bit more professional rather than just using the standard stream elements but streamlabs but trust me it looks cool and it's super easy to set up it can take control over your obs by only doing three things at the moment those are switching scenes activating and deactivating sources and activating and deactivating filters and i know you're probably thinking oh but i use leon board i use touch portal they do much more advanced things than that but when you think about it, that is all you need to really get going and having an interactive stream. Because you've got so many cool plugins that Exceldro has been making, like the Move Transition, just combine things. You can create animations on your stream. I mean, I've made my own alerts in the Orenbud just from using all the motion stuff that Exceldro has created, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So, it's you can create some crazy stuff, alright? And you know what? It takes zero effort. You don't need to be a whiz at programming like you do in Leoran Board and, and Touch Portal. It is so user friendly and it really reads out what each command does, which is awesome. That brings me to the, like the whole interactive tool feature with the, the animations and that. Basically, somebody types in a command in chat, it'll read the, the command and it'll activate anything you want to happen. And to set that up, it's so easy. You press commands, press add the command, what do you want to call it or what's the chat command going to be? Boom, diddly boom, what do you want to happen? I want something to turn on and off and also write a message to chat. Boom, it'll do it. Simple as that, it really is so easy to understand and work with. And since all this stuff happens in real time, like it would do with Leon Board and Touch Portal, I just want to use this as an example. Let's show you how easy it is to create a text-to-speech function inside of BQBot so your viewers can type in a command and it'll do text-to-speech. I was loving this today. Check out how easy it is. Right, so I'm going to make a text-to-speech function, press commands, I'm going to press the plus sign to create a command. I'm just going to type in TTS just here, select what I want to message, so I'm going to do user message. The voice I'm going to use, I'll just use uh, Mia in Spanish. Uh, I'm going to crank up the volume and I'm going to call this test, so exclamation mark test, save that. Make sure it's saved, go back, go to my chat command that I can see on here, or I could use the chat down there. Type in exclamation mark test, and then does this work? Does this work? Yes. Another cheeky little option in there as well, which normally is quite hard to do in Leon Board, and it's not even possible in Touch Portal as of this video, and that is custom user commands. You can select a viewer, so you make unique commands for each viewer pretty crazy and it's super easy to do so i've only been using it for probably about a week two weeks something like that N not too long i want to kind of give my first impressions on it and as you probably found with the video so far the the thing that comes to mind is it's super easy to use you don't need to be um an advanced user you don't have to be a novice you can be anybody this will work for you it's got so many things to do i love the minimalistic design it's very intuitive on what you want to do so if you want to create a channel point redeemable you press channel point on the side and then you select what you want to happen whether or not it's actually turned on and off as well so it's nice that you can create loads of commands and then just turn them off really easily whereas in the on board it's a little bit harder than that you'd have to turn off the twitch trigger etc and it can become a little bit of a ball ache 
It's also beginner friendly. As I say, it's just so easy to use. I've said that so many times. It's just easy to use, all right? <laughs> uh, you can set things up that were once complicated in a matter of seconds, like text-to-speech. Normally, that is quite difficult to do. And literally, as you saw in this video, it just happens pretty quick. Bikuta has definitely done an insane job on this. Like... He's really impressing me with what he's created so far. Uh, it's only been a couple of months. It's in very early alpha right now. I can't wait to see where he's going to go with it. So that brings me to what's next with BikuBot. What, what features are going to get added? Well, the, the best way to see is go and check the link below. There is the Trello link there, and it will show you the roadmap of all the features that are going to be added, what's being worked on right now. It's really interesting to see what they're going to be adding. Here's a couple of things that stand out to me. We've got scene filter control, OBS media control, custom WebSocket commands, if-else functions, Stream Deck integration... I know, alerts manager, and just so much more. You've really got to check it out. There's so many cool things that are standing out there for me, such as custom WebSocket, because you know what I like making my little installers and giving you guys free stuff and alerts and stuff like that. Yeah? Yeah? Like, don't worry, events are going to be coming, so when you get Twitch subs, uh, follows, and stuff like that, that will be added in as well. It's not there in the alpha at this stage. So as a bit of a roundup, BikuBot is pretty much perfect for anybody's stream. It's the perfect companion to it. Whether or not you're a beginner, expert, especially right now in alpha, this is the really interesting bit. Is because there's limited functionality in there. It means you can learn all these, there's, I'd probably say there's about 10 tools in there as an example. And you can learn all 10 of them tools really, really well. And then if you're already part of the alpha and you keep getting the updates through, you've just got new things bit by bit to learn and still build these blocks up to then have a really good knowledge. Whereas when you add something like uh, Leoran board or Touch Portal, it's just, here you go, these are all your tools, this is, I'm, yeah, there, there you go, just do it. And, and there's not a lot of, if there weren't people making tutorials like myself and you've got Nutty and other people like that, then it'd be very difficult to kind of catch up on but if you're in there early now you've only got a limited tool set and you can keep building on it i've said that multiple times you get the picture <laughs> And as these new features are coming, I am going to be covering them on the channel. Hopefully, I'll be doing a video every update or so to talk about what's been added. And kind of just follow the journey because it is very interesting. So make sure you are subscribed, okay, for that. Right now, the only way to get your hands on this, I mean, it, it, like I say, it's in alpha and you can get your hands on it. The only way is through Patreon. So I'm going to leave their link down below as well. But trust me, it's an absolute stand-up uh, price for, for something that's it's, it's good to be part of a journey. I, I find it really interesting interesting and i can't wait to see where it goes go and follow biku bot on twitter as well so you don't miss any of the updates there's uh, there's actually sometimes a couple of competitions to to win some free uh, keys as well so hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on one of them if they ever do any more i have asked if they'd let me do a little giveaway on the channel so i'm waiting to hear back from that uh, so <clears throat> bikuta sort us out give us a couple of keys let somebody in let us in let us in, keys, unlock door, and we're in. Yes, do it, do it. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear some feedback. If you've got any feedback on it as well, let Bikuta know because he's really open to, to all the feedback I've given. There have been a couple of bugs in it, so we've been working out the kinks together. And it's really nice that he's so friendly and approachable. So just join us on this journey, all right, guys? Put your rock over the stone, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.